25th January, the 6th Armored is to reach a point two miles from the German frontier and 13 miles east of Ufeliz. Ufeliz itself is captured on 16th January. About 500 yards from the town, two patrols meet. It's a junction between patrols of the 1st and 3rd Army, who have been moving toward each other from the north and south since 3rd January. Ufeliz, a resort town lying in a sheltered valley, is silent and in ruins on 18th January. First patrols, which entered on the night of the 15th, found it had been evacuated hastily after a last-minute defense by mining. With this communication junction in Allied hands, only saint remained as the last important road junction on the Germans' retreat route from the flattened Vosges. River, 13 miles northeast of Agno, the span is made ready for demolition. Engineers of the 79th Division place the charge. At Lauterbach, also on the northern edge of the Alsace Plain, Men of an engineer combat battalion apply 100 pounds of TNT to a captured blockhouse. Oh my goodness, everyone. I'm Kaiser Von Grauer. Thanks for tuning in. The microphone is working. I'm glad to report. Thanks for tuning in tonight, everybody. Oh. Oh. Let's play some Battlefield. Here we go. Yeah, so hope everybody had a fine day, whatever the hell day it was. Thursday. Bad Sarge is out there. King Tiger Tank is out there. Yeah, I see that Tiger Tank over there. Funkle Pop. Funkle Pop. Sorry, Funkle Pop. You know how it is. <laughs> Def P is out there. Taffer's out there. Oh, man. We got the farts going tonight. I don't hear any sound. Hmm. Well, oh, fuck yeah, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with five, five subs, Clamsy. You get the five. Oh, my God. Welcome to the Officers Club, you guys. Thank you, uh, Clamsy, for those five uh, Officers Club memberships. You believe I hit that one out of the park like that? Oh my god. You know what it was? I updated, I updated my NVIDIA cards in both my machines, and I was like, I remember from last time that I have to check things out. So I went through and I checked everything out. You know. But I didn't play any Battlefield. I would have caught that. Isn't that funny? You always think you've gone far enough in your test. You never go far enough. It's always one step further is where the problem is. It's like, oh yeah, I would have tested that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, bullshit. Play. Multiplayer. Advanced search, full filter, fully croisoned, sorted by ping, and refreshed for extra refreshment. There's a twisted steel. Let's do this. 
Oh, Mysterio, I'm telling you. Man. Sometimes it's a miracle. Sometimes it's a miracle, my man. It's always a miracle. Yeah, look at those. Look at that officers club thing out there now. Isn't that cool, huh? Oh, we got a little officers club uh, little uh, emote there. Look at that. Officers club, baby. Gotta like show that shit off. <laughs> look at that, man. See, I don't need to change that for Battlefield 2042. Shit. Shit. My shit is timeless, baby. It looks the way I want it. God damn it. I'm camping a plane. Mr. Frazzy, what's up, man? I flew some Yunkers today. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Get a little Yunkers action in there, Mr. Frazzy. <laughs> you have a little afternoon Yunkers action? <laughs> oh, man. What squad am I in now? There we go. There we go. Whoa, Hank Zaddy G just resubbed to the Officers Club. Look at this guy, Hank Zaddy. Oh, you knew he was coming back. Oh, you knew he was coming back. You knew it. NFI, what a jockey burner is, but it sounds like some kind of STD. What a jockey burner. I know. I know, the jo some of them are just so weird. And you know my hit were on point today thanks to your set. I mean, I know, man, but Mr. Frazzy, the settings, you know that guy Silk? I use a lot of his settings. I use a lot of his settings. And then um, I only deviate in some very specific places in the end. It's, it's crazy. I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of Silk's settings and I have I have some ender settings in there yeah yeah I got a little bit of enders action going in there kind of kind of up in there and you know you know kind of you know right in there I got a little bit of ender stuff going in there <laughs> <laughs> oh man I think who did I learn from I don't, I don't remember who I learned what from I don't remember who I learned what from. The the stuff that's like turning off the vertical whatever the fuck that bullshit is, that I totally learned from Silk. That changed the way I shoot on the ground massively. And then I stopped fiddling, I settled on a, a, a sensitivity and I stopped and that was it. And I'm never changing. That's it. I am done. <laughs> Raven got my street right on, dude. Right on, right, Raven. Bread Knight joined the officers club. Hey, Raven, check this out. Bread Knight's in the officers club now. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? The grind never stops. Boy, ain't that the truth. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go, you guys. Got to try to get a plane here. I've been flying this A-20 bomber a lot lately. It's pretty nuts. I like it a lot. Oh my god. I did not get the plane. Alright, well, I'm gonna camp it. I'm gonna sit here and camp it. There's one plane in. There's not one other plane in. So that guy might be messing with his settings, and he might let it go. Kaiser, I got one of them. You have it. Okay, I'm clicking. Oh, I got it. I don't know who gave it to me there. Mysterio, thank you, Mysterio. Oh my God, Mysterio. Thank you, sir. Mysterio has been getting planes before me a lot lately. I don't know what's going on with that. 
I usually get one though. I don't have, I haven't been having trouble like this, Mysterio. Well, I mean, I can't say I haven't had trouble with this before. It kind of comes and goes, you know. It could be, man. It could be. Or you got there earlier. I mean, I, I load pretty quick, typically. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to take a distant whack right there. Two distant whacks. Nope, nothing. See that? Two distant whacks. That's going to be the title of my memoir. Two distant whacks. A memoir by Kaiser von Grauer. Two distant whacks. Critics praise two distant whacks. <laughs> it's great okay I'm coming down your way and I've got someone on my tail here I come everybody here I come here I come oh mama oh Nalisa oh my god Nalisa got that guy I'm coming back I'm going I'm going forth <laughs> Back and forth. Critics praise. Two distant wax. A knockout hit. <laughs> Two distant wax. We now control enough objectives to sway the outcome. All right, here we go. I'm looking down over there, and I'm looking over at Echo, and I see tracers. I see tracers. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. I see a tank. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. We have control of I barely hit the guy. I only hit him for like seven. And I only had one bomb. I'm coming back. Here we go. Oh, man. I got back there in a hurry. There's somebody on my my anus. He is on my anus. I am coming toward you. I have something on my anus. Oh, he got me. All right, we'll go after this next one. Wow, I tell you, this weed is so good I can't feel my calves. That's crazy. <laughs> Just like flapping back there. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, that is good weed. Yes, goddamn, sir. Foolish dog. Hello. Hello, foolish dog. Foolish, foolish dog. God damn you, foolish dog. Did you jump up on the counter today and eat all the buns? Oh, foolish dog, you want to see something ridiculous. Look at this. Look at the degenerate couch today. Look at the eyes are taped up there like the goofiest way. Just a big piece of tape going across. We can't get anything to stick to the back of the... The, the googly eyes, it's made from some amazing space material from China that nothing can stick to. It's the weirdest shit. I even scuffed it up on the back. I can't get tape to stick to the back. I can't get anything to stick to the back. It's so... Objective easy is under our control. So that's what we did. <laughs> I think it looks way better this way. tape in the front is just it's just cinema verite man that's what it is you have to look beyond that <laughs> it's just cinema verite <laughs> objective box is no longer secure oh man got that tank man I tell you what, I am really thinking about playing Star Wars Battlefront 2. 
Now, here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. Alert. I will play it during the day, figure out what the hell is going on, and see if I can make it, see if it's even worth my time. If it's worth my time, I'll spend some time during the day figuring it out. And if I know how I want to play it, then I'll stream it, and I'll announce it ahead of time. I won't just all of a sudden just up and play it like a complete noob. I, I don't think I can possibly do that. I think my head would explode. I've done that on games before, and I don't like doing it. That's why you never see me change games in the middle of the stream. Hardly ever. Period. <laughs> Take out Baker. Oh, look at that, though. That miserable bastard. Just got hammered back there. Uh-oh. I have... attracted the wrath of a wiener. Here I come. I'm coming home. He got me. Get him. Yes, Nalisa got him. Thank you, Nalisa. Oh my god. So I won't go just doing that. I won't just... And I might play it and absolutely hate it and be like, fuck that shit, I'm never going back there again. I also looked into Battlefield 4. And there is a package that you can just unlock everything. It's like, oh, thank god. <laughs> you just unlock everything. It's nice. So if I do Battlefield 4, that's going to take some work on my part. Because I'm going to have to make sure it looks the way I want it to look and everything. But I'll make no promises on that one. Yeah, the ultimate shortcut cut bundle. I looked at it. I don't want to unlock that shit. I don't want to, I don't want to go after that shit. I, dude, come on. I can't do that. <laughs> and then I'm going to have to figure out my flying settings and everything. And that's going to be a pain in the ass. I don't remember what the hell my settings were. It might even be worth it to hook up an Xbox. Oh, shit on it. And see what my settings were. We're back in Battlefield 4. It should still be on there. If I, if I load it on, if I load my profile, I should be able to get my settings, I think. It's out there in the cloud, man. I think. Battlefront 2. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I've been thinking about that because I just want to fly. I don't give a fuck about what's going on down there so if i could just fly around all night i would probably have a great time right so that's what i'm thinking <laughs> all right i got a plane it might be fun just to take off a night and goes dicking around in x-wing fighters and shit but i don't even know if that's how that game works i've never played it i played the first battlefront a long time ago I had a lot of fun on it, but I don't think I played multiplayer on it. There are dogfight modes. Are there conquest modes like this? Because that would be super kick-ass. I don't really want to have a cock-off with anyone. I just want to have fun, like this kind of fun, but in space would be great. Preferably in a Millennium Falcon. If I can do what I'm doing right now, but in a Ma Millennium Falcon, and have Chewbacca screaming shit out the window. That's what I want to do. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. This. <laughs> if it's not this. And there ain't no Chewbacca and there ain't no Millennium Falcon. I will not be interested. So I'm, so I'm curious. I'm thinking about just going, you know, loading that up and seeing what the hell is going on. I'm just bombing a joint. See, I guess I'd be doing this in a Y-Wing bomber. 
And it would, those would be, uh, I'd have my ion cannon. And I'd be dropping photon torpedoes down there, right? Yep, that's what I'd be doing. The enemy has broken our hold and objective Charlie. If I was having a cock off, I'd be flying in an A-wing. A-wings are more maneuverable than the X-wing. Everybody knows that. Luke Skywalker's just an asshole, that's all. <laughs> He's like, these are the only ones we have left. Well, tell them they're the best we've got. <laughs> He's like, they gave me the best they got. <laughs> My first time being on your stream, do you play other games in Battlefield? No, not right now. I just play Battlefield 5. That's it. If I play other games, they're usually Battlefields. <laughs> but... Uh, I only played Battlefield 1 for about two hours in the entire last year. So that gives you how often I play other games. I went through a phase where I played a couple different games and it nearly drove me crazy. It nearly drove me mad. Oh man, that guy just got worked right in front of all of his tank buddy friends. He was first in line. His tank brothers saw that happen to him. Look, he's getting revived. You see that? He got revived. I might even, I might even play some Call of Duty. I might even play some Call of Duty. I mean, I don't know what the hell, I don't know what the hell is going on over there. I might hate it. I might just hate it. I know I'm probably not going to like it. There's no planes. I feel like there's a waste of time if there's no planes. All right. Feel free to get that guy. <laughs> get that son of a bitch. Man, that guy is like a level something pretty low and he's gotten me three times, but... I am flying a bomber, so I think he's in the best plane in the game. Jason DeRaven got way too high and I couldn't play Battlefield. How the fuck do you do it? Jason, you know, you're kind of saying you're a big puss. Don't do that. Don't say that. You don't want the whole world thinking you're a big puss. Now go try it again and don't be a puss this time. And report back, right? Now, when you're, while you're doing it, while you're good and high and you're playing, you just tell yourself over and over, Kaiser says don't be a puss. Kaiser says don't be a puss. Kaiser says just don't be a puss. Don't be a puss. Don't be a puss. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> Play your favorite maps. Play your favorite game mode. And use your favorite weapons. The ones you have the most fun using, and the ones you have the most fun, fun doing. That's what you got to start with. Don't be an asshole and get high and try to, like, unlock some crazy fucking recon shit where you get your face kicked in 15 times in a row. Don't do that. You know, some people do that. That's not good. You're not going to... Nobody has fun doing that. Not even when you're high. You got to go do what you love to do in the game. That really helps. Let's see. Oh yeah, that guy's on me again. Oh my god. He is on me again. I gotta like operate from this side. I have no choice. He is back in the back of the base. There's a blue... Nope, there's not a blueberry back there. Oh, yeah, I see a plane. He's smoking. Ah, oh, Jesus. Here we go. This... It's like, Kaiser, don't do this. Do not stick your dick in there. It's a bad idea. We have charge of objective like, for that eight... This guy's just gonna turn right around... and help himself to my ass. In its entirety. Fully... 
<laughs> in its entirety. Oh my god. Look at this guy. We have taken objective able. This is a miserable pursuit. I'm I'm gonna come hang out over here. Oh, he's coming after me! He's coming after me! Oh my god, that guy got fucked. Nice nice shot, Vahiro. Gave him something to think about. Mm -mm. That's a problem. That's potentially a problem. If it's fr if it's friendly, it's not a problem. But if it's from high up and far away. That's a problem. Well, it looks like. Mysterio just shot somebody down. Now I gotta stay on this side of the fucking map. Alright, here we go. I'm on the Echo side. I'm on the Echo side. I'm looking for targets. I'm looking for targets. I see one at Delta. I have one at Delta. And to these guys. Oh, yeah. I missed those guys, but I nailed that uh, first guy. Took a chance on that one. See, if I make the turn like this, I can make the turn in that profile that's not easy to hit or see from far away. Instead of having my plane sideways like this, I can make the turn like this. With the crazy big dorsal thing, tail fin, whatever back there. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. Fly the shit out of these things. I even think I have the maneuverability package on there. Here we go. Let's see. Staying on the right. Here we go. Viking Ops gets the follow pipe. Viking Ops. All right, Viking Ops. Our forces now control objective Charlie. I hit him, but I didn't get him. Sometimes. Sometimes. Um, what I do is I aim my plane toward the AA bursts. Because rarely do they shoot in the same spot twice. Multiple tanks at echo. 10-4. Multiple tanks at echo. I am inbound, coming around the dog leg. Coming around the dog leg. I'm on approach. Looking for targets at Echo. Oh my god, this is almost suicide. But I got the high altitude package. I only got one bomb out, god damn it. That was just straight down. There goes my fixer, that's all I got. I'm gonna loft this one in there. Here we go. Right there. I'm out of here. I'm bombing the depot, I'm getting the hell out of there. Yeah, look. I ruined it for everybody. <laughs> Blew up their damn depot. Here we go. Partner push shit still on. That should not be on. Let me check that. Let me 
do not mean to have fartner push on. Get your fartner pushes out right now. <laughs> Come here, you fartner push. Oh. I turned off the wrong one. Aha. Aha. <laughs> All right, we're going to give Fartner Push a little break. I'm like, man, I thought I turned that off. What the hell? I turned off my smart-ass Battlefield 2042 answering, answering machine. Magic 8-Ball service. Well, you got a little bonus time on the Fartner Push. What do you think of that? How about that? Yeah, I got to do something different with Fartner Push. No, I don't know. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just do it every once in a while. You must return to the combat zone. Oh, you guys got bonus Fartner Push. <laughs> Stealth Fartner Push. Here we go. One, two. Good luck with that, buckaroo. Oh, yeah, those guys got boned. They got boned. They got boned. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Woo wee. Could just be Fartner, yeah. Yeah, Fartner works right now. Fartner and Fartner push. They, they, they work. I just need to see what I'm going to do with it. I really like it. I really like it. I, you know, um, the fart command is actually a really crazy, like, case in, of, like, economics. I, I, I don't know. There's some kind of crazy statistical math that needs to happen for that to be successful. And I just guess, really, I just do the best I can. Right now, it's like a 1 in 63 chance, I think. So I had to write 62 different farts. And uh, getting to that point was pretty crazy. But now I know I have to think about that as my viewership scales, right? But then I added fartner push, which totally screws up everything in a weird way. I was like, we got to take this to like some uh, class at Stanford or something. I'm sure somebody, like, would work on this. Or if you just apply some basic uh, casino economics to it, you probably could figure out how to get it to scale right. Meanwhile, you guys are just farting and... <laughs> slug and whiskey i mean it's the coolest place out there to hang out i like how you guys can do shit out there and you don't have to say a word to each other you could just be like <laughs> just you know Objective dog has been lost. <laughs> you guys are awesome <laughs> all right here we go here we go. Look at all the bomb craters down there. Almost all of those are from me. Almost all of those are from me. Maybe an impact crater or two or three. Oh, I missed. I missed that thing. You see that, guys? I missed it. I am a noob. I am a noob. I should go to noob jail. I should spend the night in noob jail. <laughs> Fight harder. Our victory depends on it. <laughs> With all the noobs. <laughs> I get to set to noob jail for some reason. Oh, man. I don't know what happened to that guy. Whoop. We have charge of objective easy. Well, all right, Mysterio. 
Look at this, Mysterio Deft. He just cheered a hundred bits. Son of a bitch. Attention. So I realized something completely fucking insane today. You guys, are you ready for this? I've been thinking I wanted to get a, th a 3090 card for Battlefield 2042. But they're very difficult to find right now. You guys know there's chip shortages and everything. It sucks. So you can get them, but you have to pay like $4,000 for a card. And you don't know if it's authentic. I mean, you really can't trust it. So it's really sketchy right now. I don't know if you guys know that. A lot of you guys probably know that. So I was thinking about it. I'm like, well, what the hell? I got this guy on my tail, you guys. Holy shit. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, not Lisa. Nice work, Mysterio. So I went to the place that I built these computers at and I built a custom PC. And it costs about as much. You know, they give you, they, they put in the, there's a 3090 card, but they just give it to you for retail price in the build. Largemouth Crab gets the follow pipe. Thanks, Largemouth Crab. You get the follow pipe. So I was like, you know, what? Well, what the fuck? I could get the exact same machine that I got, but year one year less wear and tear on it. I get the card for retail. It's like, and I have a new machine. It's like, I'm just, and then I'll give that machine to my son. I was like, wait a second, man, maybe I should do this. <laughs> so I'm really thinking about that. We definitely need a command for the Sams. Yeah, we need a, I got promoted you guys. Holy fuck. Look at this. I am a level 246. Man, see? They just flying. Seven. There you go. Oh, we have a command. We need an emote for the Sams. I have all these emote slots. It's been so long since I've done an emote that, um... Back when I did it, they didn't have the automatic resizer. <laughs> That's how long it's been for me. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I got to use the automatic resizer tonight. I was like, oh, holy shit. That's not so bad. All right. Let's see. What do I got to do? I have assignments. M30 drilling. Okay, I'm close on that drilling. I got to attack objectives. So I got to run the drilling, you guys. I have to. My hands are tied on this. I have to do this. Oh, hold on. We need to capture and hold as many objectives as possible. There we go. Get my control back over here. Okay, here we go. Good, 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 good. There we go. Mark Alpha. Alpha. So it was really like, oh my god, man. It's actually, you know, I don't have to deal with an older computer. I don't know how long this one's going to last. Put in a big old freaking 3090. Ensconce it with newness. Oh my god. I could not get out of there. Wounded Paw! Thanks for the follow, Wounded Paw. You get the follow, Pie. Thanks for the follow. Oh. I'm like, confusedly dying here, Wounded Paw. Alright, here we go. Get in the tank here. Oh my god, I got fucked. 
Am I dumb to think that Battlefield 1 is better than Battlefield 5? I found Battlefield 1 more enjoyable and just better overall. Well, yeah, so it's kind of a weird thing. Yeah. No, no, you're not wrong. There's a lot. Battlefield 1 has a lot more. has a lot more character to it. And it has a lot more prestige. There's a lot more things that you can earn that you can show off to other people. That's not really in this. There's very little prestige in this game. It does not have a lot of, um, it doesn't have a lot of spirit. It's cool, but it doesn't have a lot of spirit. With Battlefield 1, you know, they did, they worked pretty hard to keep the, to maintain the, the World War One-ness of it. But not in this battlefield as much is there that World War Two-ness. Or that, like, why are we on this map? You don't know why you're fighting on Narvik. They don't tell you. You know. But in Battlefield 1, when you were when, when you were loading into Monte Grappa, they told you facts about the battles of that area. You know what I mean? But they don't do that in Battlefield 5. They just dump you out here for no good goddamn reason. So a lot of that... A lot of that reinforcement stuff that they needed to have, they don't have. And they won't need that in the new one but it sounds like they'll have it like they have that little storyline going about the i don't know what nows and the hoosies the people that have like no country expats <laughs> like okay all right that's weird enough expats People without countries or something? I don't know what the hell they're doing. I didn't I didn't watch the damn thing. I don't know from my ass. Alright, let's see. It's interesting though. It's you know, it's a neat idea. It sounds like there's gonna be some crazy modes with like Oh my god, I didn't get them. Sounds like there's some modes where like I don't know if they're like many maps from different battlefields combined together. I, I heard some indication of that, that like you could be a Battlefield 1 tank versus a Battlefield 4 tank. And then the weather would be around the whole thing. Like it's some kind of crazy freaking. But I also, I think that might've been a rumor. I don't know. It is admittedly a very wet dream that I have had before about Battlefield. Being able to play any piece of gear across any battlefield would be kind of fun. I have many times talked about the St. Germain assault tank. I would take that into any goddamn battlefield. We are losing objective Caesar. Especially this one. I would definitely take it into this one. But all those old, all the stuff that they bring into that is going to have the new battlefield physics. So that's cool. Uh oh. Oh, I was fucked. I was reloading, goddammit. Oh. Yeah, Hank Zaddy, I don't know what it was called. There's like a hot zone or something like that. I think that's the rumor that. But it was a rumor, so I don't know about that one. There's like some new... Uh-oh, where am I here? There's Mysterio. All right, I'm in Mysterio's tank. This will be fun. I heard that one of the battlefield maps is 10 times the size of Hamada. Well, yeah. But... Do you like Hamada? <laughs> no. Do you like playing infantry on Hamada? Fuck no. 
So that's gonna be some crazy shit to have a map that's ten times the size. You know what I mean? So I'm interested to see how they keep the intensity up. I know they're gonna have like AI in there and shit. I don't know, man. We'll see. You know, we'll see. Nobody, I mean, everybody hates the idea of AI in Battlefield. When you talk about, when people complain about Battlefield, they complain about people cheating, and they complain about what they think are people that are not exactly people, but are bots, right? They think that some people out there are bots. People are like, holy shit, that was a bot. That has to be a bot. There's no human could do that. You hear people say that all the time. It's just noobs talking bullshit. Man, back when I played Battlefield 3, and I was playing with the guys, we had- a, we thought that there were actual bots running around on the map. On console. That's how nerdy we were. That's how nerdy we were. So, for as long as I played Battlefield with people, people have complained about bots in Battlefield. Like it's the worst thing. You know, like it's a conspiracy. Oh my god. Oh, I, I just gotta reload this fucking thing. Please reload it. Why isn't it reloading? Oh, it reloaded. Oh my god. Well, it was just him. That's it. We're free. Uh-oh, except for this guy. Oh, say goodbye to your entire head. Just splattered it. Oh. Just annihilated that guy. Oh, forget about it. Oh, he got me. I hit him for 94, you guys. Come on, man. Come on, Battlefield. You don't have to treat me this way. You don't have to be like that, Battlefield. What's the best gun for medic class? I like the well gun, but I was wanting to know your thoughts. Okay, one Swedish bro. Are you... <laughs> Alright. You gotta ask yourself the question. Am I an asshole? Do I mind being thought of an as, as an asshole? And do I give a fuck? Okay? Ask yourselves those questions. If you go through all these goddamn guns in the medic class and find a better gun for any... Er, almost every situation than the Type 2A... Legitimately better, let me know. But there is there that is the shit right there. That gun right there. I use it like this. This is the way I do it. I don't know that that's the best way. I'm sure you can tweak it, but that gun is kick ass. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. You can be like, oh, I think the ZK, or I think the Type 100 of the Grease Gun, or blah, 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 blah. It's all bullshit. It's the Type 2A. You're not going to find a gun better than the Type 2A. You can go on a gun hunt, and I've done this. I'll be like, I'll start here. I'll start on the Trombone Sino. I'll be like, that's way too slow for me. I need something faster. And then I, like, keep going until I find the right gun for me. I always wind up at the Type 2A, back home. I mean, oh my god, you guys. It's monstrous. <laughs> don't listen to what anybody has to say or, you know, don't... Just go play your game, man. But really, honestly, that is a gun that will... It gets me out of jams all the time. You always want a gun that... It's like, it just saved my life. In spite of myself, it saved me. You know what I mean? Like, if you fuck up with that gun, it can save your life if you just hang on the trigger. It's great. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, they're out there. They're coming around the... There we 
go. Ah, I hit a guy in there. Come on, dude. Oh my god. They never came back. Oh, there they are. There's one. Oh my god. Oh. God damn it! Oh, why didn't I kill that guy? Oh my god. I should have had that guy. I have that ridiculous thing equipped. Oh, it just takes too long to kill with this. It's not practical. I have a giant commando machete. I need something smaller and faster. Oh, like a scout knife or something. Golden Eagle, what's this? Oh, all right. There we go. I'll take the Golden Eagle. Let's see what happens with this thing. I have to get kills while attacking bases with this shotgun. Oh. Oh, man. Be aware that we have lost objective Chaser. Oh, there he is. Oh. Oh, man. See, I tried to reload. I can't help myself. Objective aiming is now ours. I just noticed that Kaiser Von Grauer has hands this stream. Hands? <laughs> Tacoma Fresh. I'm always making sure. Tacoma Fresh. I'm trying to get this thing done. I need to get drilling mastery. <laughs> because I'm golden up all my shotguns here. I'm trying to get this done as fast as I can, under the wire, before Battlefield 2042 comes out. I want to make sure all my shotguns are gold. Come on, man. You gotta get your shit- You gotta get your plans together for the end of Battlefield 5. Tips for getting good at flying. Here's your- here's your goal, man. You gotta figure out your controls. Find the most intuitive controls for you. You gotta go to the practice range and figure out what's best. Once you got that figured out, unlock specializations on all the planes. I don't know where that guy's getting me from. I don't know where that guy's getting me from. Unlock all the specializations in all the planes. Unlock it for one and then move on to the next plane. Unlock them for all of the planes. Because without unlocking those, you're at a huge disadvantage. Asshole, I'm talking here. So unlock all of your, uh... Unlock all of your, uh, specializations in all your planes. It's super important. Once you've got that done, now you are on an e even playing field with specs, with every other decent pilot out there. And most people don't unlock all of their specializations. But do it for all the planes, even the ones that you don't like. Try not to get stuck too long on the cool planes. You will get stuck on some planes. Don't get stuck for too long. It ain't good. I won't hold it against you if you do. I did.
Oh, there's nobody else here. Uh oh. Oh, I hit him for 12. I blew his shoulder right off his body. Did you see it? It went flying down the block. <laughs> oh my god. I got a couple there. But I have to get them while I'm attacking bases, so... I'm very close. See that? I'm a little fart away right there. Probably need like five or six kills. But, you know, those pie charts are... <laughs> so... So... So easy to read and estimate when they could just show you the exact number, for Christ's sake. Like, why don't they show me the exact number, for Christ's sake? Why do I have to have a fucking pie chart? Why is... But what if I want to know the exact number? Like, three. <laughs> it's good to know. But no, right now, I have to go out here and I gotta go to assignments and be like, okay, I need about... I need about... <laughs> Alright, let's see. Well, we got pie. <laughs> so, look. I need that many. Why do they do that? Why do they do that? Why couldn't they said like, you know, 23 to 25? Alright, I guess I got fucked on that one. Alright, I'm getting in the jeep. I'm heading to the other side. I'll see you guys in hell. If anybody cares to join me, spawn on me. I'm headed out, baby. Here we go. Man alive. Here we go. Uh-oh, that's no good. Look at that shit going down. Oh, fuck. Yeah, no sense following that guy. All right, now we got to make our turn on this bridge right here. It's the fastest way to go. It really is. Oh my god, they boarded up the place. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's on the other side. Oh, fuck. Oh, no! I'm out of shots! <laughs> I'm out of shots! Oh, man. I did pretty good there. Let's see what it says up here. Gaggin Spy gets the follow. 59 to 60, I'm so close. Gaggin Spy, you got the follow pipe. I only need one more kill on a spawn. On a, on a, while attacking. Here we go. Where are these guys? Oh, shit. Here we go. Oh, hit him. Let's go. Let's go! You need ammo. Take the ammo. I gotta get to Bravo to kill the guy. Oh, I was just short. No, no, I was so close. No, I was so close to Bravo. Oh. The kill only counts. No, it's so stupid. Come on. <laughs> I hate this game. I hate it. Oh. Oh. All right, here we go. All right. I got to get uh, kills while attacking. I got to get one kill while I'm attacking. So I got to get there. Mama. Oh shit. Oh, 
Oh my god, I fucking missed him. Oh my god. Ah! That wasn't on the base anyway. It didn't matter. I really should have got those guys. But you know how the battlefield gods are. Oh man, look at this. What in the hell is going on back here? All right, I'm jumping out. I got to kill people with my shotgun. I need one more guy while attacking a base. Oh my God. Look at this dude. He's standing in the middle of the church. <laughs> what? There's a guy in the middle of the fucking right there. Right there, right there. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, I got to get in there and kill that guy. I did a bad job on that one. Well done. We have taken objective he appears to be gone. Oh, I don't really want to be defending this place right now. I want to be attacking a base. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Sir, I just need one goddamn more kill. I can't get to a base to attack it. Whereas we're about to be losing this one, so... I gotta get out of here while we lose it. Oh my god. This thing is going sideways, you guys. Holy shit. I do light matters. I do have a YouTube channel. Just uh, look up Kaiser Von Grauer. You'll find me there. I'm out there. We need a Sturm Tiger or bomb. Okay. Well, I will call in a Sturm Tiger. Uh, here you go. Here comes a Sturm Tiger. There it is. Oh, there we go. Let's go. So this thing is a 360 gun. You see that? It shoots grenades. And um, it has an infinite supply and no cooldown. It's a little tough to see where the grenades are going to go and where they're going to land. Like, when you shoot them far away, it's tough to see how far they go and everything. Or how long it's going to take for them to get there. Same with up close. And it takes a while for them to shoot. So what I do is I just never stop firing them. I'm always firing them. Because if I see someone there and my finger's already on the trigger... I'll get them quicker than if I have to pull the trigger. You know what I mean? It's weird. <laughs> and mistakes are like... It's like no problem because the blast radius on these grenades is ridiculous. Look at that. I'm just creaming those up there as far as I can. Oh my god, there's a ton of them far away from us. We are in big fucking trouble. Uh-oh, there's a tank back here. I've hit him. He's dead. We're still alive, baby. Oh, yeah. See, I just never take my finger off the trigger. I just keep shooting. And you'll understand if you ever get in this thing. It's like, oh, yeah, you just keep shooting. There goes Mysterio. <laughs> he 
He's a goddamn goofball, that Mysterio. I tell you. Look at how far those go, too. They're pretty kick ass. See, they go pretty goddamn far. And I have infinite shots and no cooldown. See? There's a little infinite shot meter over there, and then you don't even see it move. You see? I just had my finger on the trigger this whole damn time. I just killed a spawn beacon somewhere. Oh my god, we're gonna fall off this bridge. They just called in an airstrike on us. I saw the guy call it in. They almost have us. Fight harder. There's someone calling in something right there. Yeah, get that guy. Somebody behind us. Oh, they got us. They got us. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, Jesus. What was that? All right, let's see. I could get another one of the... Oh, we only have 44 tickets. Oh, man. I could jump in at Alpha. I only need one more kill attacking a base. So I have to get to a base in 39 tickets. Here we go. Oh my god, look at how far back I am. I have to get to Bravo or Charlie. Charlie's the closest place. It's not an easy place to get to. We already have Alpha. Oh, fuck. But I don't want to have to defend Alpha. I just have to get a kill attacking a base. Not defending. See? Those don't count. <laughs> it's like, God, I'm trying to get to a place where I'm attacking and I can't get to it. These are so weirdly difficult to do on Conquest, you guys. Isn't that weird? I know you could do this in Breakthrough in like 10 seconds, right? You just get into Breakthrough and you'd be like, voop, I'm done. Kill 15 guys. 20 guys. I, I shot the guy, and then he killed me. <laughs> so screw it. Oh well. Sturm Tiger is a fun tank to use. Can one hit any tank? Yup. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. It's got like a, a 360 millimeter cannon on it or something. That's just giant. That's like... It make it reminds me of those big bullets in Super Mario. You know the big big bullet dudes? They're like Totally reminds me of those. The Super Mario bullets. Uh oh. I'm getting a good quick hard GTFO. Oh yeah. Oh I agree. GTFO. GTFO. Bullet Bill. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. That's what that thing shoots. You should be able to ride him. <laughs> I think that'd be kick-ass. You could be starring. Alright, let's see what we got. We'll refresh. There's a Twisted. There's a Panzer. That's a big Q. That's a Q. There isn't a Ross, but it's 53 of 64. It's 740. I do want to take a break, so I could play out this Ross and then take my break. But I know I'm taking a gamble on it. You know, it's a, a 58 Ross, so. Well, oh, yep, here we go. Well, at least we're getting in.
at least we're getting in. So let's see what happens here. All right, guys, I'm scratching my scratching my goddamn foot. Feels good. <laughs> A little itchy. Ah, oh, feels good. I need some. I need some lotion. It's summer, you know. Sitting around the house all day. <laughs> need lotion. <laughs> Calgon, baby. Calgon, take me away. <laughs> Let's go, Calgon. I'm partner. <laughs> Now's the time to strike. <laughs> Lock me up. Hot tub streams are hot. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine a Calgon bath stream? Oh my god. I should do that. I should just freaking do that. Calgon. You know what I'd want? They have those tubs that are like they're like stand-up bathtubs for um folks that have a hard time getting in and out of tubs. They have tubs that are like that you you walk into it you close the door, and then you fill up the tub, and then it just holds the water right in. And then it drains out, and then you can open the door. It's awesome. But if I, I mean, I that would be okay for me. Because I could be in the tub, sitting down like this, but in the tub, and then I could get to my, uh, my keyboard and shit, and I'd be able to play. I mean, right? I think that would be perfect. I think I can make that happen. So I've, I've thought about it that much. I mean, it would cost so much money to get one of those tubs. And then I would just seal off the bottom and just fill it with hot water. <laughs> like an asshole. I would put it right here, too. I would install it, like, right here and then use it once, and that would be it. <laughs> Attention. Objective easy is lost. I have thought about this. I have put thought into it. It's terrible. But I think I can do it. I don't want to, though. I don't really want to. But I thought about it. I thought about everything, you guys. Have you played Fortnite? No! Oh my god. What do you need to see me play Fortnite for? Why would you want that? Why would you want to see that? That's terrible. I don't know who's flying here, but they got this thing locked up. Look. 5 and 0. 141. This guy's 1 and 0. Level 20. All right. Well, I think we can wait on a level 20. I don't really want to play Fortnite. I don't like battle royales. I really don't. Wearing a G string and a hairband? <laughs> what do you mean? I would I would just uh I wouldn't be wearing anything. I would just get in the tub. That would be it. <laughs> You wouldn't see anything. You'd see about down to there. That would be it. I'd be sitting right here, but I'd be in a tub. The tub would be like right here. <laughs> I've looked into this. I know it's terrible, you guys, but I have thought about it. I would just seal the bottom off and I would fill it with hot water. And then I would sit here and do a stream. You know, and then maybe maybe my wife could bail out some of the water and replace it with hot water. Because uh, I wouldn't have a drain in the bottom, you know. <laughs> maybe leave it a little short and then add hot water over time. It builds up. And I can, like, <laughs> keep me on the air. I'll take a shot glass and throw it out. <laughs> 100 bits of shot glass. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that's a good idea. I think it's kind of a pain in the ass for me to do a hot tub stream. That's why you haven't seen me do that. I can't even get in this plane. Look at this. I don't even know if that guy's still alive. All right. There's a blueberry right there. I don't see anybody else. All right. I'm in, I've been camping on it. I've been clicking it. I'm going to look away, come back. I don't want to get kicked. Seize control of their objectives. Mm. Yep. 
Camp in a plane. That guy's getting shot down. Oh, I got the plane. That guy's getting shot down. I got problems already. Nice shot, Nalisa. Holy shit. Alright, we're in. We're in. I'm hitting Echo. I'm hitting the building that I like to hang out in at Echo, right there. That building, right there. <laughs> Him and his buddies. Turn on volcano. It's it's just about time. Uh, I'm gonna wait till about 300 tickets. Thank you. I've been thinking about it. Thank you, thank you, Nalisa. I'm gonna wait till 300 tickets. I got a few tickets here. But 300 when we hit 300 tickets. I gotta turn on the volcano. Somebody message me and say turn on the volcano. I'll keep an eye out. Oh, I missed the building that I meant to bomb. I meant to bomb this building right here. You see that building? That one. Right there. <laughs> That's the one I wanted to bomb. I just wanted to hit it anyway. I think I put it right in the front living room. Light matter, how old... So whenever anybody asks me this, I ask the person that asked me first how old you are. How old are you, light matter? <laughs> JD, he's 18. How old are you, light matter? Oh, man. Let's see. There we go. We'll see what... Uh-oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I don't know what happened there. Light matter, I'm 12. Jesus, light matter, you're not supposed to be watching this. This is an adult stream. We talk about adult things like genitals and controlled substances and promiscuous sexual activities and consumption of items that are or maybe not illegal or legal in your area or state so man when i was 12 holy fuck dude you know what i used to do when i was 12 i had a tape recorder that was like this big it had a built-in handle you put a cassette tape in there I would take that, I would put it upside down on my clock radio, and I would hit record and pause, and I would wait on my clock radio for my favorite songs to come on, and then when it did, I was ready, and I would unhook the pause and record my song off the radio. And then, if I wanted to record another song, I would have to cue it up at the end of that, so then I would have my favorite songs on tape. That's what I did when I was 12. Shit. <laughs> 12. Get out of here. You're not 12. Get out of here. 12. Dishing out wisdom. Well, you can call it that, I suppose. Well, Mr. 12 year old, you know what I'm about to do? I'm going to take a break between rounds. I'm going to take four minutes, and I'm going to smoke a bowl, and I'm going to take a whiz. That's going to happen between rounds there, Mr. 12-year-old guy. Who shouldn't be watching this? You know what I was doing when I was 12? They had this uh, adult channel that was, like, scrambled on my cable system. But I would watch it anyway. <laughs> scrambled. Because every once in a while, you could figure out what was going on. <laughs> oh, man. 
like what you got today ain't nothing like what I had. <laughs> <laughs> Kronos, I'm not kidding. It's ridiculous. I actually, it was the funniest thing. I recorded some of the scrambled porn and brought it up to school with me. Because I worked in the communications department. I was like, well, I might be able to unscramble this shit. I don't know. It was really funny. I could not unscramble it. It's so stupid. Ugh. It's so funny. I like recorded a bunch of scrambled cable TV porn. That's like the worst. You could hear the audio just fine or pretty well. And then the video signal was all scrambled. You had to have a special box on your TV back then. Those were the dark days of porn. Well, when are they not dark days, huh? <laughs> oh, God. I like your pipe. Thanks, Light Matter. Light Matter, you're 12. Jesus. What's the matter with you? Man, you tell me you got nothing better to do. You're so full of shit. You're 12. Daft, you get 100 bits. You know what? light matter you should go tell your parents that you love them and you should ask them for uh ask them for an xbox one x super whatever the new one is i mean that's better than watching me man go ask him for that tell him it's impossible to get it's so hard to get that if you just buy it off of ebay it's a better idea See if you get a real one. Be like, if you love me, you'll do this for me. Mom, dad. <laughs> it's better than watching me, man. I'm no good for 12 year olds. I, you watch me as a 12 year old, you're in big trouble, man. I mean, You'll find out that, you know, you really stopped maturing at about 12 years old. <laughs> it's a jarring experience for many 12 year olds that discover this stream. And 40 year old and 50 year old and 60 year old people. And 30 year old people. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I see this guy. Here we go. Right here. Right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, I got him. 12. 12? 12 year olds don't play Battlefield. You're full of shit. Ask him for a book, aggressive hippie is right. Ask him for a book. Ask him for a book like Ram Dass, Be Here Now. Ask him for that. Technify! That will blow your dad's mind. Your dad's going to be like, uh-oh, are you doing drugs? Ask him for Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Or ask him for the uh, Dark Tower tri uh, books by Stephen King. Those are good. Good book. Good books. Ask him for a Kindle. Say, yeah, I want that most kick-ass Kindle that they've got out there. And then uh, buy me a bunch of books. Don't leave the combat zone, soldier. <laughs> That's good. Be like, I want to read. I want to read my ass off. I want to sit in the tub like Jeff Bezos and read books. Not have to worry about that shit getting wet. Get me the latest thing and a bunch of books. You'll be more likely to use it if you got the latest Kindle. Or be like, Dad, I want an iPad. I need an iPad. I'm going to make some electronic music and... And... I'm going to learn a new language. Tell him that. And the iPad is the perfect thing for that. Tell him that. Tell him you want an iPad. The latest one. Oh, that guy's fucked. 
Oh. Did you see the blast radius on that thing, though? He was, like, outside of the smoke, and he still died. You see that? That was pretty cool. Yeah, get an iPad, man. Uh, that's a good idea. Get an iPad. Get some Kindle books on there or some shit. Daft. Oh my god, Nazi bastard. You 12-year-old Nazi bastard. Oh, he's fine. Usually people that say that they're 12 are not 12. I've noticed that. <laughs> they say they're 12, but they're not. I, th I think I was still playing with Legos when I was 12. Like, very heavily into Legos. I'm kind of getting back into Legos. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm thinking a Millennium Falcon might be in my future. I built an X-Wing and I built a TIE Fighter. And now I'm thinking Millennium Falcon. I'm trying to talk myself out of the massive Millennium Falcon. Just get the normally sized Millennium Falcon. It's quite sufficient and very cool. Riddick! Riddick gets to follow pipe. Thanks, Riddick. Oh, you know what, Riddick? Now's the time for the volcano. Oh, yeah. Here we go, you guys. Gonna turn that freaking volcano on. Here we go. Now, the volcano does not do this natively. I have it hooked up to a Christmas light switch. <laughs> That's a dumb app. On my phone, it's so stupid. So it's plugged in out there. And then I turn it on, and then by the time I get out there, it's all heated up and ready to go. It's perfect. I got it all figured out, man. I got it all figured out. You name it, I got it. Oh, I don't got that figured out. The Punisher Samir gets the follow pipe. Hey, Punisher Samir, how you doing? I was 12, I had an Atari and a BB gun. I know, right? I had an Atari, but I didn't have a BB gun. I'm trying to think if I was 12, though, when I had that. I never got a hold of a BB gun. <laughs> Uh, I didn't get a BB, I didn't get access to a, to a BB gun till high school and a buddy had one and then it was kind of stupid being a high school kid running around in the bushes with a BB gun. It's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Oh yeah, I know. It's almost break time. I'm almost there. I'm going to do it between rounds. You guys, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take a break between rounds. Oh, I got something. Here we go. Why was he shooting at me? That totally got him killed. I He shot at me, so I went right for him and killed him. A lot of times I've seen guys that'll do that, they'll shoot at me like that, and then they'll pull out a Fliegerfaust. It's pretty it's pretty cool. I've seen it happen a couple times. It's pretty wicked. To do it, you have to have your head about you. As the Fliegerfauster. But they just pull out whatever gun and start shooting at me. And I see it, and then as I come at them, then they get me. Oh boy, I almost ran out of air there. Got that guy. The giant six pound cannon. You see that? Shoots a big old six pound shell. It's awesome. I had one of these installed on a Volkswagen Beetle. It was kick ass. You, put, you go up to like a toll booth and it was great.
Ooh, got that guy. Bastards is an unacceptable word in Twitch. Daft, I don't know. Sometimes it's like, it's crazy. Like, sometimes it will censor my own fart commands. So figure that out. But I have a couple different bots running, so I think sometimes they get up each other's asses. You can imagine that. The one bot censors the other fucking bot. It's like, why do you have to be such an asshole? Artificial intelligence, my foot. They work pretty well, though. The system works pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. Alright, here we go. Generally, it holds up. Okay. 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 Aha. Uh -huh. Man, I swear I hit that flag with that cannon right there. You see that? Uh, you fly way better than I do on keyboard and mouse. Yeah, I suppose so. I am not on keyboard and mouse. I'm on a controller. I have many years of experience on a controller, though. Oof, there's a guy standing out there. He's headed toward that building at Foxtrot. But I got a lot of people saying, you should play War Thunder. Blah, 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 blah. I might check that out. Attack Viking gets a follow pipe. Thanks, Attack Viking. You get the follow pipe. Oh, man. I've been looking to hire a good Attack Viking. I tell you. You need him. Right there. Oh, I didn't get him. You hit Twitch partner, you need like a couple good attack Vikings. I already got my dog Odin. He's pretty kick ass, but I do need some attack Vikings. You know, for the entourage, I gotta have, you know, I need some muscle. Objective Fox is now ours. I want some good crazy Vikings. I want the Vikings that jump off the boat first. Oh my god almighty. Holy lord. Oh, they got me. I mean, what can I say? There was a million dudes there I had to take a whack. I had to take a whack. See that many guys, you gotta take a whack. Raven actual war thunder is ass. I know, I know, you're totally right. And everybody's like, all the, like... You have the Battlefield fans, and then you have the War Thunder fans. They like to poop on the Battlefield fans for flying. Like, okay. They tell me, you should play ba you should play War Thunder. If you like to fly, you should play War Thunder. And then they tell me, you would totally suck. I'm like, ah, right. That's cool. That sounds like that's something I would be really interested in. You make a very compelling case. It's like... Masturbation is awesome, and if you do it, your dick might fall off. Like, thanks, man. You ruined masturbation for me, man. Well Thank done. you. Then you have the DCS dudes. The DCS dudes come in and they shut down the, the War Thunder dudes right away. The War Thunder dudes get cocky. The DCS guys come in and they're like, eh, you don't know shit about shit. I have a cockpit in my basement. It, it has, it has 12 axes of movement, <laughs> gyro stabilized, 
motorized. It's got like a fucking huge computer array moving it around and fans and shit. You know, that's what they got on DCS. 3D helmets, they got that. The virtual VR helmets, they got that shit going on that. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. I was really feeling Fliegerfaust there. And I got what I was thinking was coming toward me. The DCS guys come in, they poop on the War Thunder guys. It's hilarious. I'm like, I'm not claiming to be the world's greatest pilot. I'm claiming to be a really fucking good battlefield pilot. That's all. I don't really fly in other games all that much, but maybe I will. I have been doing a lot of flying lately. Good luck with that one. Ah, see? I bet those guys would like it if I fucked off and played something else. This is a 4,000 pound bomb. This is the big, the big mama jama. Here we go. It's just a dude standing there. You see that? That was just a dude standing there. There's a guy standing there shooting his gun toward Bravo. He's like, Oh, yay, I'm shooting my gun. There's bad guys over there. I'm shooting at them. I'm shooting at them. Hey. I have to reload. I'm shooting my gun. I'm shooting my gun. And then all of a sudden, kaboom. And it was me. I hit him right on the head with a 4,000 pound bomb. Look at this guy. You see him right there? You see him right there? Here he comes. He's moving. I got him. Kick rando. 10-4. Squads. Manage squad. Kick. There we go. Ten four, Nalisa. Thank you. What am I using for my stream setup? You can check it out at kaiservongrauer.com. I have it in my blog. Check it out on kaiservongrauer.com. That is still up to date. But I'm thinking of getting a new streaming uh, gaming PC with a 3090 built or with a 3090, not built in, but. I'm actually considered considering doing that. Just getting a new one. <laughs> Just so I can get the card, really. Oh no! Woo! I made it! <laughs> oh, I thought I was fucked on that one. Alright, there's some dudes over here though. I saw a bunch of dudes. Let's see, where are they at? There's dudes. We are out of there. Yeah, I would really like to have a 3090, but uh, it's impossible to get one for under four grand. We must capture the objective. Stay in the fight, soldier. Yeah, I got him. Oh shit. I made it. I'm gonna get this guy. I got him. I told you I was gonna get him. <laughs> nice job. Objective Charlie is out. How about that shit? What was he doing back here? Got that guy. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys, I'm going to take a break. It's going to be about four minutes. I'm going to smoke a bowl and take a whiz. If you're in the officer's club, you shouldn't see any ads, but you might. And if you're not in the officer's club, you should see three minutes worth of ads, but you hardly ever do. But who knows? Because I'm partner now.
So I don't know what the fuck they're gonna show you. Anyway, I'm gonna take a four minute break. I'm gonna smoke a bowl. I'm gonna take a win. Look at that. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. GG's, you guys. All right. We'll be right back here. Oops. I wonder what the fuck button I hit. All right, here we go. Ad breaks. Thursday. Here we go. I'll be right back, you guys. Objective Baker is under enemy control.
Oh, this godforsaken motherfucker. Oh. Oh, this... This hell, 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 hell of hell hells. Objective Able oh. is now under our control. Oh, my God. All right, hold on here. Hold on. You get... The enemy has broken our hold. You get situated here. Okay, here we go. I don't think you guys want me to stay on this one. Maybe you do. Maybe I can get that one last shotgun kill. Let me just get that one last goddamn shotgun kill. Hold on. I will get the hell out, but I need one more. Sh I li literally need one more. Look. 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 It's just a little fart away. I need one more. All right, here we go. Let me just get this. I got to attack a base. Oh, the hero is like, I'm out of here, man. <laughs> Elisa says there's lots of cheaters. All right, we should get out of here then. Mysterio says go for it and bail. But look, man, they're, you know, they're set up right there. All right, I'm going to go for it once. Here we go. Capture and hold as many objectives in the area as possible. Oh, I didn't get it. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm out of here. It's fine. Woo! Smoke a bowl and take a whiz. We have lost our hold of Objective Baker. I know. Slap one more and get the hell out. But if I fart around in there, I'll be in here all night. I know. I just got to hit one goddamn more kill. But I really, I got to get out of here. It Look, it's fucked. All right, let's go. I don't need the game info. 592. I'm not coming back here. I don't think I'm going to happen into this place. Someone's worst nightmare. I know I should play Breakthrough. I know. I know. I, I really know. <laughs> I mean, I need one fucking kill. It's agony. Like, how difficult. One stupid kill with a shotgun. But I like to fly, too. That's the other thing. Raven Actual says, you got this on the next server. I doubt it. If I get in here... <laughs> probably not. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Let's see what we've got. I know. I really should play Breakthrough. Just to get these stupid assignments done. They're so dumb. Alright, let's see what do we got. Oh, we're on the German side. Look at that. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. The enemy objectives. They are taking the upper hand. He's utterly conked out. Here we go. Well, I got a 109. That's not the worst thing in the world. Uh-oh. Glad I got the high altitude package. You're fucked. Buckaroo. Uh-oh. German is the best side on Twisted Steel. Oh, yeah. Generally, probably, yeah. Lee Moto. Lee Moto. How's it going, Lee Moto? You get the follow pipe. Right on, Lee Moto. All right, here we go. This plane is great. Uh oh, there's a dude.
super dead. Super dead. Not dead. Super dead. That's how it dead. Okay, what do we got? He gone. Dude's on the bridge. Dude's on the bridge. Tank coming across to uh, Alpha. The bridge to Alpha. The, enemy is now the small bridge. There's a dude. Jacob Fryle gets the follow pipe. Thanks, Jacob Fryle. You get the follow pipe. Here we go, Jake. See a dude shooting out here. Oh, but I gotta go for these guys. Woo! Let's go! Here we go. Waiting on my rockets. Here we go. I got my rockets. I'm Lucky Lou. Lots of dudes. Lots of dudes. There's a tank. I hit that tank. There's a tank back there. He's hurt bad. Kill assist. Uh-oh. Mr. Swayze just... <laughs> just farted and completely shit himself. Or it's Mrs. Wazy. <laughs> Mr. Swayze. Just farted and completely shit himself. Viewers have farted 16,693 times. Mr. Swayze. Head out to the front yard there. You just farted and completely shit yourself. Head out to the front yard. Abandon ship. Sebadella Nav. Sebadella Nav, thanks for the follow. Mr. Swayze, abandon ship. You disgusting fool, you. <laughs> you gross son of a gun. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm losing track of what I gotta do. <laughs> Mr. Swayze, grab the hose! Oh, man. Woo! All right, Mr. Swayze. Absolution is yours. Oh, my God. Look at this guy. Best squad. One dude by himself? That's not a good sign. <laughs> Let's see. Well, yep. That's not a good sign. I think we can all safely agree that that is fucked and we can get the hell out of here uh lee moto lee matoa lee matoa should i buy this game right now well it's probably pretty cheap i would definitely get it if you are on console and you're on one of the new consoles and you have a monitor that has a higher enough refresh rate for the console. If you've got that going, you are in good shape on console. It's a good buy. If you're on PC and you are, you know, you're bored, but you got a pretty good system, yeah, play. But it's going to be really hard because you're going to run up against 
people that are really good and people that are running cheats. So that's kind of the lay of the land, man. That's like where we're at. Some days are better than others. Honest. You know what I mean? But right now, what do you do? You jump out. If it's bad, you got to jump out. You just got to leave. It's all you can do. You can report them, but I don't think anything happens. <laughs> you know, I've had it where um, when I was, uh, when I first came over from PC or from to PC from console, I was playing during the day also. And uh, when I played during the day, I would run up against people that were definitely cheating and I would report them. <laughs> and then they would be there the next day. They'd be there the next day, <laughs> be there the next day. Like they never went anywhere. It's the craziest shit, man. It's the craziest shit. Well, there's only one Panzer Storm. There's a Provence. There's a Rotterdam. There's an Aerodrome. There's two Hamadas. I don't know. There's there's a Provence. Who knows on that Provence? I like Provence a lot. It's a devastation. Uh oh. Time Freezer just farted and completely shit themselves. Time Freezer, Jesus Louises. Well, Time Freezer, head out to the front yard. <laughs> Abandon ship there, Time Freezer. Kick off your shoes. You ready, Time Freezer? Grab the hose! Oh my god, Time Freezer. Man, you really shit yourself, man. Woo! God damn. Whew. Absolution is yours, Time Freezer. I I don't know. I mean, I really feel like um, I'm a part of the Battlefield community, but I'm not a part of... I'm not a part of the Dice Battlefield community, really. I'm just kind of out here by myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... I can't really say that I I don't really feel like there is a there's a lot of people that like Battlefield but man I mean you know what I mean it's a weird amalgam of people it's it's very strange it's it does it's not really something that's fostered by those guys though that's for sure at least that's what it seems to me I mean I don't know, man. That's how it seems to me. For good or bad. I don't know what to tell you. I wish it was cooler. I mean, you know, I see what happens in other games and I'm just like, wow, it just seems like other games are more engaged. I mean, I've watched the rise of Fortnite and PUBG, Fortnite, Apex... Warzone, all that shit. I've watched all that stuff come while I've been playing Battlefield. <laughs> Five forever. You know what I mean? I've seen all of that happen, you know. Let's see. And all the crazy change and all the amounts of content that all those have gotten in the amount of time that I've been playing Battlefield 5. Yeah, I'm 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 thinking about a queue right here. Uh, let's just, uh, let's jump into this one. What the hell? And it's like, holy shit, you guys. You know what I mean? I really want Battlefield to be something that, like, goes on for a while. I mean, you get jealous of, like, Grand Theft Auto, right? <laughs> like, wow, look what they did. Look what they're still doing with that game. Those people are crazy. That's nuts. They're still going, you guys. And... Battlefield 5 has been out for like that much of the time that Grand Theft Auto has been out. You know what I mean? And it came and went. <laughs> it's crazy. I just want there to be more to it. You know what I mean? Like, I really hope that there is. Ah, we got in at the end, but let's see if I can get this dumb kill. I really want it to be, uh, you know. Oh. 
it really would be cool if it was the greatest battlefield ever. You know what I mean? But maybe it's not, but maybe the next one's the best one. That'd be cool. I'd be cool with that. Maybe this is the next to the greatest. I don't know. I'm excited. Oh, I got that guy. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Cryo Cat. <laughs> Cryo Cat. Oh, I have to get to that base. I have to attack that base. Oh, you got. Attention, we have now taken objective data. Oh, I got him! I got him! I got it! I got it! Yay! It was worth it! We did it! I got a kill with the damn thing! I only needed one kill! Oh, what a pain in the ass, but it had to be while I was attacking a base. <laughs> oh my god. That's how crazy it's been. This is like my favorite map. I love playing this map. I can level up any weapon on this map. That's why I love it. And lately it's been so difficult. I can't even attack- get to a base to attack a base. Because... The teams are so lopsided. Like, I can't even get to the base to attack it. It's taking me so long to get this. Alright. Well. Let's go camp them at, uh, Bravo. Or try to, anyway. New squid. 10-4. Squads. Create new squad. I created a new squad. Oh, I got fucked. No, I died. Come to my sad squad of death. The dead Kaiser squad. Dead assholes in the alley squad. Oh, I got fucked. I got some grenades out there, though. Got a kill assist. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh my god. Oh shit. I swear to God, I hit him. I I was pulling the trigger long before I heard his second shot. I swear to God. It did not register. I got hosed. I blame the internet. Someone's worst nightmare. This music makes me tear up and I don't know why. I I actually look at this. Look at this. Look, I'm a I'm a drilling genius. It's gold. It's gold, Jerry. Gold. Alright. Let's not stay on Al Soon Dan. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's go. Let us go. The music that used to get to me was the Battlefield 1 music. Some of it's just beautiful. All the Battlefield music is awesome. I mean, there's never been Battlefield music that I didn't like. I've liked it all. <laughs> it's good. Battlefield music's usually really good. I think we left that one, didn't we? I think we did. Ah, I'm losing track now. What was the one we were just on? 
I don't even remember what map we were just on. That's how bad that is. I think it was that one. I know, I totally forgot, you guys. Yup. How long have you been streaming? That's a, that's a goofy question. You mean tonight or total? Tonight I've been streaming for about 76 hours. It's crazy. And uh, usually what happens after about 75 hours when somebody asks me that question, they immediately just send me lots of gift subs. Usually what happens. 76 hours. I can't see your censored word, but I like Hamilton's character and what he stands for. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't know what that means. I'm not even in a queue. What am I doing? Oh my God. Yeah, they were telling me about this. It's called partner lag. You hit partner and then you start to lag. <laughs> All right, let's see. Well, what do we got? Ah, oh, man. I don't know. Fuck me, man. I don't know. All of these suck. All oh, here's an Aras. Let's try this Aras again. We've been flying around a Ross all night. <laughs> Let's go fuck some dudes. <laughs> Let's go fuck some dudes in a Ross. I don't know. That sounds pretty that sounds pretty dirty to me. That sounds dirty. But for some reason, this just does not have the same heart and soul as Battlefield 1. It just doesn't have, have it, you guys. It does not have that heart and soul. That cannot be... What? We got hosed, you guys. They're dumping us in an Almarge. Can you believe it? Can you believe what's happening to us tonight? We are getting screwed. All right, hold on. I'm jumping out of here. I'm not I'm not playing El Marge. I don't need to do that. Maybe I do. Maybe it was a good idea. Could have got some more shotgun kills. All right, let's see or not. There's that Panzer Storm that I don't know if I got out of already or not. Oh, this is the saddest thing tonight. How about we just get in this The Hero Pacific maps aren't a bad idea, but you'll notice that there are none up here. The closest we have is this aerodrome. I'll hit this aerodrome. The next map's gonna be Ewo. That's the best I can do for you, man. I'm like your I'm like your Battlefield 5 travel agent, the hero. Thank you for flying with Kaiser Fun Battlefield Tours <laughs> Come on over here. Let me get you a hot towel. We'll massage your nuts and uh, we'll get you out to the Pacific maps. We just got to go out to the airport here and uh, kick the shit out of a couple guys for a couple tickets. We are losing ground in this we'll just burn this one off, Vihiro. This one's gone. Now we're going to get into a full Iwo Jima. How about that? I'll get into a new squad. Create new squad. Look at these awesome skills. Come to love squad. Oh, man. I'd pay to fly on Kaiser Von Air. Oh, my God. You would not want to do that. Oh, my God. I'd be so scared to be a pilot. I went flying in a plane with a, with a guy who was a pilot in a small plane. You know, like... It's so goddamn scary. <laughs> oh, man. I was so scared. The Onstat cheered 100 bits. Thanks, Onstat. <laughs> you get the 100 bits, pipe. I was so fucking scared because there's like... You have to like do the right thing and say the right thing at the right time. And it's like 
holy fuck, you know, like, all right, we're going to fly over SeaTac. So I have to get permission to fly over SeaTac. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, go ahead. Blah, 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 blah. It's like all the shit that you have to remember. I would be, I'd just be like, I just want to get down out of the sky now. <laughs> I don't want to say all this shit. What if you freak, what if you freak out and you don't remember what you're supposed to say to get down out of the sky? Holy Christ. I guess that's what all that training is for. When you learn how to fly. Whew. It's scary. It's like, I just want to get out of the sky. <laughs> I can land this just fine. I, I fly on Battlefield all the time. All right, two tickets left, and we'll be done with this map. There we go. There we go. You know what I mean, guys? It's like, holy shit. And that plane was so small, and we were coming in for a landing, and we're looking, looking at the airfield down there, and I was just like, holy motherfucker, that's, this is nuts. Buzz gets the follow pipe. Thanks, Buzz. Buzz, thanks for the follow. You get the follow pipe. I was shitting my pants. I was sitting up front. I was so scared. Oh, my God. We're up there. We're flying over Lake Washington, and there's, like, somebody's balloon is up there. It's like, oh, my God. <laughs> Danny Boy gets the follow pipe. <laughs> thanks, Danny Boy. Oh, man. That's scary, man. I don't I don't really have the constitution for that shit. I can play it in Battlefield, but that's about it. Alright, look, we got Iwo Jima. Let's give Iwo Jima a shot. For Christ's sake, right, Danny Boy? Thanks again for the follow. Oh man, we've been having server troubles tonight. Just doing a lot of bouncing around. <laughs> Sucks. T Billy Doe is drunk. Well, Welcome to the party, my man. Pull up a seat, hang out with us. You come to the right place, T. Billado. <laughs> we got you, man. <laughs> Just put us up on the big TV, we'll be fine. Get the speakers going. You got the thousand pound bomb, T. Here we go, baby. <laughs> Look at that big thump rooney right there. Let's go do this. Thousand pound bomb. The old nutcracker. And a high altitude package, by the way. Pretty sure I got, yeah, I got high altitude package on this. I think. Seems pretty high up here. <laughs> I'm gonna get fucked. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Look at me. I'm just dicking around out here trying to see how high I can fly. This guy's already up my ass. All right. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. I see you, Nalisa. I don't know if he's behind me. We have charge of objective five. Should I make room in the squad? My game flying, I'd leave too good in a plane. Oh, I don't know if you mean that I would leave or you would leave. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. There's people that I play against that I leave. I'm just like, no, I can't do this right now. In Clubbers gets a follow pipe. Thanks, In Clubbers. There's, there's a couple pilots out here where I'm just like, oh, I'm just not going to do that. Because they turn it, it's like the Battlefield Olympics. And I, so a lot of times I'm just not in the mood, you know. I don't have anything to prove. Here we go. Ooh. That was real close. Got it though, I got out of there. 
I survived. Shit. I'm scared of you, you're really good. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hell yeah, I am. Sorry. <laughs> you're right. Well. Yes. <laughs> you're not wrong. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is just going to be right. Here we go. Right down. Two tanks right there. Ah, get me out of there, baby. I'm just delivering the bombs where they need to go. Putting them where they need to go. <laughs> it's a little close. Oh, you'd be just fine. You'd be just fine. You guys would be just fine. Oh, I missed him. God damn. I gave up that spot behind that plane. It was a little risky, you know. I was going to be flying over his AA when I attacked him. And I just took a shot at that plane, but... Not at that plane, at that tank. <laughs> that was not a... <laughs> that was a terrible shot at that plane. God, Kaiser, you totally missed. With your bomb. What were you thinking? All right, let's see. I'm like, I'm not going to follow that plane back there. I'm just going to let this rip. Okay, I saw that. You see him at Delta? There he is. Oh, man. Oh! I got Flieger Fausted twice. The first guy hit me. As I was coming across, I hit my fixer as he hit me. And then that other guy in the mountainside there got me. <laughs> I mean, I can honestly say that I held up my end of the bargain and I did everything that I could do. And I got fucked. That's all. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'll just get another plane. It'll be all right. Don't worry about it. They got lots more planes. I won't even remember this. <laughs> I already barely remember what happened already. It's okay. Here we go. Johnny Chunder gets a follow pipe. Objective dog is secure. I mean, shit happens in Battlefield all the time, right, Johnny Chunder? You know that. It happens all the time. It's never gonna... Shit, bad shit's never gonna stop happening in Battlefield. Yeah, you know, you can bank on that. The sun rises in the east, it sets in the west, and all day, bad shit happens in Battlefield. <laughs> you can bank on that. <laughs> Death, taxes, and bad shit happening in Battlefield. So don't worry about it. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Oh, yeah. They'll get that Flieger Faust right up your ass so far that you have to go to the hospital to get it removed from there. It gets stuck up there so far sometimes. It's terrible. I've had so many Flieger Fausts pulled out of my ass in the emergency room that they have a special protocol for me where they remove Flieger Fausts from my, my rectum. They're embedded. I have one in there now. I'm going in to get it removed on Tuesday. That's how bad it is. It's okay. This is the game I love. <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> Sometimes you get a Fliegerfaust up there. You got to get it taken out. 
You know, you learn not to do it yourself. It's bad news. Just call the doctor, make the appointment. They'll take the Fliegerfaust out. It's the cost of doing business. Being a battlefield streamer, pilot. Inspirational quotes. Yeah. Deep Thoughts by Kaiser Von Grauer. All right, here we go. Right in there. Here's the deal. Most folks in planes use rockets. I would say 80-20 is rockets. You're using the rocket plane. All right, bear with me. 80-20 rule. Most people use the planes with the rockets. So... Most people shooting down planes are waiting to see those rockets. Oh, that guy's fucked. Jeez. Josiah gets a follow pipe. Thanks, Josiah. So Fliegerfaust guys are waiting to see the rockets before they shoot their Fliegerfaust. Because most of the time they're waiting to see those rockets and they're going to key off of them. So running bombs, I think they will hold on to their bombs longer because they're waiting for the rockets before they shoot. I think it throws them off. I might be full of shit, but it's my hypothesis. I'm having a much easier time in American planes now that I'm using the, uh, the A-20 over the P-70. And I got a lot of kills with the P-70, but I got Fliegerfausted a lot with the P-70. Because the whole time I'm shooting, they can aim. They know where to aim their Fliegerfaust at me. They just aim along the line of where my rocket trails are going. I don't know what that guy's doing. He's shooting his gun. He's a goofball. All right, here we go. I'm looking. Objective box is under oh, I see three dudes. I see three dudes. I see three more dudes. These two dudes are running together right there, though. I told you I saw those dudes. I'm getting the hell out of there. I have a dude on my ass. I'm coming across, Nalisa. He is behind me. Oh, Nalisa got him. Nice kill. Nice kill. <laughs> nice kill. That was awesome. Uh-oh. Someone's worst nightmare just insulted the Canadians twice. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh around here that that could be that could be dangerous depending on who's tuned in all right i'm looking what's this guy doing what's this guy doing what's he doing huh what are you doing what are you doing you're gonna get one of us killed over here Goofball. Hmm. Well, there he is way out there. Here we go. I'm coming home. He did not bite. Mysterio's up there. I looked. Uh, nope, I don't see him. I don't know where that guy went. I got a bomb for this guy, though. Here we go. Oh, I nailed him. 73, damn it. Oh, squad kill assist. There you go. The hero got him. Nice work. Nice work. Dog is no longer under our 
Yeah, it is a bummer. I think we did just hit the solstice. That is a bummer. But I tell you what, we are bracing for really fucking hot weather here, man. We are bracing for it. So we just kind of took it easy today. But the next couple days is going to be super hot. So I had my son cut the grass today. That'll probably be it for the year. Until September. The Tex-Mex gonna gets to follow pipe. Thanks, Tex-Mex gonna. You get to follow pipe. But we are going to get super hot. Oregon's going to get super duper hot. Everybody's just got to stay cool. I'm going to be icing my balls tomorrow night stream. I guarantee it. I will be icing my balls. Oh, there's somebody. That's Vahiro. Hey, Vahiro. I'm looking down there. Uh, I see somebody on the flag at Delta. Here we go. Right there. He's right there. Oh, I got him. Look at that one. That was pretty cool, huh? Whew. Yeah, these these heat waves. I don't have air conditioning, so we just uh, cool it off as best as we can overnight. You know, flush out the warm air and then close it up during the day and turn on the air conditioning. And sometimes we run the air conditioning at night, but we only have one air conditioner in the main room, and it's one of those roll away models. It's not like a window deal. It is a window deal. You have to hook the exhaust up. But at least it cools off a spot. It's better than nothing. And then we have downstairs here. Downstairs stays pretty cool during the day. It's tolerable. It can get a little bit muggy down here, though. So we'll see. We have taken objective but uh, yeah, man, it's going to be it's going to be exciting times. We got about, we're looking at at least uh, through the weekend. Hot weather out here in the west on the coast. It's going to be bad. <laughs> Partner push Friday night, ice nads night. Yeah, no, we are going to, everybody get an ice bag. We all got to ice our nads. We're going to ice our nads tomorrow night for sure. Totally for sure. Like, uh, okay, so to give you an idea, tonight and the previous night, I've kept my windows closed, but my fan on. Because it's... But it's it's kind of cool. I could open them up tonight. I could probably open them up tonight. But I'm not really hot. I'm comfortable right now. I'm comfortable. But tomorrow, it's going to be quite a bit warmer. So it's going to be like... When I get that with these machines in the same room and the lights and all the monitors, it gets hot, man. So I've got fans and stuff and I'll be icing my balls. So we'll stay hydrated. We got adult beverages. Although I'm going to need to get some tequila. I'm running out. I know. Oh, I got fucked. Oh, he got me. He got me. <laughs> farted, farted to the left. <laughs> Sorry to who's ever on my left. Well, wow, look at that guy farted, farted to the right. That's pretty close. Same, but Northern Idaho. Stay cool, homie. Yeah, man. Yeah, there's a, we got a lot of people out west here that are just like, uh oh, here it comes. You know, and it usually doesn't get, you know, down in Oregon, it gets pretty hot, though. It it, it gets hotter down there more often than it does up here. Um, usually here, we might get a handful of 90 degree days over the summer. This one's happening really early in the summer. And uh, it's going to go on for a couple days. So it's like, oh, shit. Taking control of objective yeah, Weez, that's what I've been hearing, man. Yeah, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough these next few days. Everybody try to get sleep. Get your fans. Get your AC. 
Get all your shit together. Get some ice cream, man. Fucking get ice cream. It's good. Obstacles and shit. Drink cold water. I'll be drinking cold water all day tomorrow. I like doing that. It really cools me off. All right, let's see what do we got. Yeah. Don't forget to eat. Don't forget to get some sleep tonight, everybody. It's going to be a fucking hot one tomorrow. There was one summer I worked at the same factory that my dad worked at. He, uh, I was in college and he got me a job over the summer. I did it a couple summers and I did it. I worked for a couple different departments. And one year I worked for the uh, the shipping department and we would put together small orders and it was the summer and we had to work in the in the warehouse with all the cardboard boxes and packaging and that place was the hottest fucking place I've ever been in in my life. It was just so hot. Just like you would never, it was just, it had like, it, it was a warehouse with metal, you know, walls and a metal roof. And it was filled with cardboard. It was just the most stifling thing you could ever imagine in that heat. That was rough, man. And some pretty crazy ones working there, that's for sure. Oh, somebody hit that guy, though. Oh, I got him. There you go. The hottest I've ever been at home was the first apartment that I lived in out of college. I lived on the northern, very northern north side border of Chicago. Between Chicago, right in Chicago, but right on the border of Evanston. I lived in a shitty little studio apartment. And living in that apartment was... That was the most uncomfortable heat that I've ever experienced. <laughs> that was really bad. There was no air. It was just awful. Just awful. And uh, my girlfriend, who is now my wife, she was my girlfriend at the time. <laughs> my wife. She'd come over and I'd be just sitting there in my drawers. <laughs> And she'd say, oh my god, it's so hot. How can you stand it? And I would be sitting there in my drawers and I'd say, don't move. Just don't move. And all you could do was just sit there in your drawers and not move. That's how hot it was. It was so uncomfortable. I did not have air conditioning. Oh. Woo. It was hot. <laughs> Nalisa! Nice shooting, Nalisa. I'm gonna go grab another bomb. So I'm kind of used to it. I know what to do. I can survive, but it does suck, you know. I will try to stay as cool as I can, that's for sure. I probably won't run my machines during the day. I don't want to heat it up down here too much. I live in New Jersey, so I never know what the weather's going to look like. Yeah, Jersey gets pretty goddamn humid. You guys get thunderstorms and shit like that. You get those heat waves, you can't even stand it. Right there. Boom! I hit him. Anyone have central air? I do not. I remember those days here. That was the worst of summer ever. Yeah. Some of them are really bad. There was one summer we came... 
It was like a year or two after we came out here. Might have been the year that we came out here. I was working and my back was fucked up, so I didn't fly back, but my family flew back. And we had this amazing heat wave where it was like in the hundreds. I came home from work and I had an infrared thermometer and my furniture was hotter than body temperature. It was like 99. Like even the toilet water was 99. It was just so fucking hot in my house. <laughs> so I went to Home Depot and there was lines of people at Home Depot. They were just going up and down the aisles. Oh, that guy got me. Lines of people going up and down the aisles. They were lined up waiting for air conditioners. And I said to them, there was a guy, I'm like, what are they lined up for? He's like, they're lined up for air conditioners. This was years ago. They're lined up for air conditioners. I told them we only had one truck and we only got what we got in this morning and we're not getting another truck today, so. But everybody wants to stay. <laughs> So they were just standing there at the Home Depot, just waiting in line. And there was no truck. There was nothing for them. They weren't waiting for anything. They were just standing there waiting for air conditioners. They had no, like, what? It was madness. Like they lose their, we lose our minds out here in extreme weather events. Our extreme weather is monotonous weather. That's the one that we can handle really well. But anything outside of that, like this, we lose our minds. We get a little bit crazy. The snow is out here, we shit our pants. It gets hot out here, we shit our pants. It gets cold, we shit our pants. Ice, shit our pants. Rain, rains too much, too fast, we shit our pants. I know, Jay Hale. Right. Well, yeah, man. Like, it's bubbling up. You know, like, I'm pretty like, uh, I haven't been, I haven't been paying too much attention to the news, but the hysteria, like on Twitter, that I can see from local folks is building up. You know, but they're saying, look, it's really going to be bad. You guys have to get ready. You know. So, it's like, oh, God. Let's make sure we got ice cream. I know I got enough limes. I don't know if I got enough ice cubes. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I'll soak my feet. You guys ever do that? I like soaking my feet, too. I don't do that very often, though. That'll cool your shit off. That'll cool your goddamn jets. Most of our local news is all sensationalist crap. Yeah, Jay Hale, like... When I, when I lived in Chicago, that was certainly true, but there was Channel 9, WGN. That seemed to be pretty decent. They were all right. They were all pretty good. They were generally pretty good back then. South Florida is miserable heat humidity wise. I can't even imagine. Yeah, you you're just like at odds with nature in that heat. It's crazy. I I've been out there once. I went to Disney. It was hot. Wow. Chicago weather's definitely crazy. Holy shit. I don't know, you guys. What do you think? A wake island on Japan for the last one? Are we pushing our luck or what? Wave already had a, 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 a hundred days over... Or no. Wave already had days over a hundred in Arkansas. Oh, my God. Damn. Holy shit, man. I know. And then that wears you out, doesn't it? Like day after day going to your fucking car. <laughs> Getting in there. Oh, my God. The heat. Walking the fucking dog and your face is roasting off. Oh, my God. No, I know, man. I, I like it out here because it doesn't happen as much, but it is happening a lot. You know, it's happening early this year. 
You know what I mean? Like, in Chicago, I felt like you spend all winter, your house is locked up. You know. And then March or so, you open up your windows. You know what I mean? And then for a little while, and then it starts getting hot, and then you turn on your air conditioning in Chicago. And then your air conditioning, your windows are closed all the way till fall. You know. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I couldn't get there sooner, man. But out here, you know, it's like you can have your windows open and stuff. <laughs> and it matters, right? It's kind of nice. Uh, although I do need to get new insulation in my attic. I need to do that. If I had that, I think this place would be pretty freaking awesome. But, uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> you hit that guy. I don't know, you guys. It's always something, you know. We just got to get through this heat. Stay hydrated. Don't forget to eat. Get lots of rest. We'll get through it. We'll be fine. Alien GG gets to follow pipe. You guys, you know what we got to do? We got to get out there with the fucking garden hose with our kids. Alien GGs, you get the follow pipe. God damn it. We gotta get out there with our kids with the with the garden hose and shoot it at them in the shed. Uh oh, that guy's gonna get me. There he goes. They're right up our ass in our own spawn. You know what you gotta get your kids if they still got them, get them a slip and slide. Those are kick ass, man. You can hit those as adults. You just gotta be careful. Don't be a jackass. I don't know if they still sell them. Do they still sell them? I think they're still out there. I think they got like a pool on the end of them or something now, don't they? Watch out. Don't don't jack your nuts on that. Well, that guy's fucked. Well and truly. They're coming out of Delta over there. There's a plane. He just spawned right there. Did you see that guy? Objective Charlie has been lost. Warning. We have lost objective easy. Abba dabba do. Yabba dabba dabba. Yabba dabba dabba. Yabba dabba 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 do. Whoa, man. I'm pretty sure my guy would have blacked out on that one. Oh, and nicked me on the way out. Ah, caught you. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Asshole! Caught you! Lacking. Man. Alright, let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. 
Oh, something just went down big time over there. At I see this guy. I saw that tank going over that embankment, and I thought, now is the time. All right, I'm looking for help. Charlie, Charlie, I'm coming to char- Oh, nope, that's a greenberry. I don't know who that is. Oh, shit. I'm coming by the beach. Don't know what happened to that guy, but I sure am fucked up. Oh, thank you, Nalisa. Thank you, Nalisa. What are we doing? Not bad, I guess. Be aware that we have lost oh, what the hell? I pretty much to I, I I pretty much default to ground attack. I like to play ground attack, but I can go after planes just fine. And it's kind of funny. Some people can get me if I'm doing ground attack and I'm concentrating on it. And then I switch to anti-plane and all of a sudden it's like, whoa, wait a second. I'm just going to kind of creep out here and see if anybody comes out. There goes somebody. was already pretty fucked up, but it still counts. <laughs> still counts. Look at this guy, Italian super beast. Oh man. How's it going, dude? You get the raid pipe. Welcome Italian super beast viewers. Oh my god. I'm Kaiser Von Grauer. Thanks for raiding tonight, you guys. Oh my god. How's it going? Did you guys have fun watching Beast kill everybody? Uh oh. Oh. Oh! Nice kill. That guy kills a lot of people. Ah. <laughs> Look at that guy. Watch for this one here. Let's go touch some Nono Squares! Oh my god, let's go touch the Nono Squares. He's a legend. This guy is a legend. You should go back and follow Italian Super Beast. Go back. Go back out. And follow Italian Super Beast if you haven't already followed him. I think we're gonna get. <laughs> I think we're gonna get hosed. If you raided with Beast and you're not following him already, you gotta go back out, follow him, and then come back and then follow me. Nah, that's how you do it. <laughs> like, how could that not be cool? The legendary moron. <laughs> How's it going, Beast? How you been, man? True Talent gets the follow pipe. Thanks, True Talent. <laughs> Look at that guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh, man. Well, let's see if we get a plane. They'll probably just spawn us on the runway. But it looks like our, our dudes run the runway, but somebody's getting boned back in the spawn. They're fighting for their life back there. I'm camping it. I'm camping it. 
Mysterio says I'm being called a hacker. <laughs> I am a hacker. I am such a hack, sir. <laughs> oh, Sketch, you know me, man. <laughs> Hard enough and then run hacks? Who would do that, man? That is like, that is really risky because you never know what bullshit you're putting on your system, man. You are giving that thing up to whoever wrote that shit that you're putting in there and paying for. And it's like, wabba ding, wabba do, man. That is bad news. I would not put that on my machine. You're like, I don't know where that code, what the hell are they looking at on there? You know. They're hacks. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, that's a difficult thing to like trust. You know what I mean? Holy shit. It's a hell of a risk for the lulls that you get. You know. That's bad news, man. Oh my God. I don't understand why people do that. Like all their shit's probably stolen. Their credit card, whatever they use to pay for that. That's like all gone. They're, they're boned. They're like pulling one over on us in battlefield. And then somebody's cleaning out their bank account. <laughs> guys like this guy's only got $38 in here. What are we going to do? We just hack this guy's shit. He just bought Battlefield cheats and we hacked his computer. We got his account. He's only got $38. What can we get with this? We can't even get a pizza. We can't even get it. Well, maybe we could get, what can you get for 38 bucks out of this hacked guy's account? God, you get like one yeah, Omaha steak. <laughs> like a, you get the sampler. It's got like a, a little, a little cube. You get some, you could probably get a good amount of ice cream with 38 bucks. Act dollars. Look at this map, man. This is the last map of the night. I'm just sitting here talking to you guys. We're getting boned out of these planes. Oh, uh, we're taking Charlie though. Maybe we'll get the plane at Charlie. Uh, buy a bullet and rent a gun, Raven. <laughs> Vegas vacation. There you go. Oh. Well, maybe I can get my plane back at Charlie. I'll camp it. I'm camping it. I got nothing better to do. I'm still waiting on Battlefield 19, 20, 20, 42. Hike. You can go to Bridgman's and get a Lollapalooza. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> you could, uh, strawberry short cream. Yeah, you could go 38 bucks. You could probably get a lot of ice cream from the ice cream man. Tepico Iloyo. Thanks for the follow. And Warmalls. Thanks for the follow. Thanks, guys. You get the follow pipe. Right on, you guys. You get the follow pipe. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm gonna get fucked. Here is shit. Fucked you are. Nice shooting, the hero. Oh, some cool ass flying, though, huh? There we go. Plane behind me. Here I come. That's not a dude I know. We have taken objective Ava. Oh, 
There we go. There's my bros. The hero and Nalisa. There we go. Form up. <laughs> Wonder triplets. All right, I see that asshole tank. Let's go kick him in the balls. Here we go. Got that guy. Getting the hell out of there. Femboy Bombshell. Thanks for the follow, Femboy Bombshell. You get to follow pipe. Right on, man. Right on. Femboy Bombshell, we're taking care of business out here right now. Looking at Charlie. Looking at the airstrip. Looking at the intersection on the airstrip. See, it doesn't pay to strafe, man. I die more strafing than from Fliegerfaust while strafing than anything else. Oh my god. We have taken objective box. They're right around the runway there, man. What's this guy doing? Getting away from that guy. Not worth it. Uh-oh. Yeah, the hero. Yeah. That's why I turned. I took a crack at him, and then that was it. And they had AA back there, so I'm like, it's too bad. He made the right move. be fine oh beast raided us man let's kick ass holy shit now I gotta think oh who am I gonna raid I got some ideas I got some folks oh Oh, yeah, that was sweet. <laughs> that was a good one. We have now taken Sometimes you just got to fall in a non-standard way, and that'll baffle everyone that's watching. You see that inside out carve I just did there? Like, it was like backwards. If you fall weird, sometimes people just don't know what even to think. Uh oh, look at this guy. Uh oh. Somebody hit me there pretty goddamn good. Oh, there's AA down here. There's a down here. <laughs> oh boy. That doesn't That's fucking tight. Here is this guy. Here we go. Guy on the beach with a flieger, Faust. Oh, I got my fixer. 
Oh, this is awkward, isn't it? Be aware that we have no Look at that Fliegerfaust coming after me. We have now taken objective box. Oh, I went after the wrong guy. I'll stay here and fix. Uh oh, man, how come they're getting so many planes back here? And AA, <laughs> they keep spotting planes back here. All right, well, the guy's got to go back for fucking ammo already, right? I gotta like boomerang through here at a zillion miles an hour. Oh, I can't even get to my depot. Oh my god. I think it's because they've got our they got those they yeah, they've got that shit back there. That's what's going on. Just trying to hit the depot and get fixed before they come back. Here comes a dude. He's behind me. There's two of them. Here I come, Nalisa. Good luck. Oh, they got me. The AA guy. There's nowhere left for me to fly. <laughs> Wheeze, I think we lost all the bases back there. See, check it out. We didn't have Charlie or Delta, so their planes were spawning right back in here. They were taking our planes. I was the last plane up. That's all you can do. You gotta survive, that's it. <laughs> Sketch, potato plane, is that some kind of Soviet model? I guess so. Well, the good thing is it's almost over. Oh, I might get another plane. Oh my god, I'm gonna be on the runway, you got No, I'm not on the runway. I got another goddamn plane. Look at that. Yeah, you know what? That's the battlefield gods right there. He got me. Well, that's what you get when you're camping my base. <laughs> Took him a while. Oh, I'm on the runway this time. That's even better. I should have saved my rockets. I know that plane's gonna be up my ass in no time. <laughs> Woo -wee! Flying Japanese on this map is not fun sometimes. getting worked <laughs> oh my god i don't think i'm positive well i'm 11 and 5 holy shit it didn't feel positive Woo. <laughs> i know sketch oh my god j hell it's the worst if you're on the japanese side man and trying to fly Oh my god, it can be so bad. It can be way worse than that. I mean, at least there I was getting planes. But 
you notice the not only are they in my base, right? On our AA, right? In our base. That's the only place that I can um that's the only place that I can reload is back in my own base. And right over where I reload is there's two spots there where planes can spawn in flying. There's like two spots where they spawn in flying and then there's two slots where they'll spawn in on the airfield. So like if I'm the last Japanese plane up, then they're going to start spawning in planes back in my base. That's how bad it is. That's why it's like they're totally up my ass back there. They're not necessarily camping my spawn, but they're spawning in my spawn. So they might as well be. You know what I mean? But what are you going to do? You just try the best you can. But that's the only place that I can get ammo. That's one of the things they didn't retrofit on the old maps. But they made it on the new maps so that there was a supply depot only in your own spawn. You couldn't have access to it in the other spawn. And on the old maps, they give you access to those supply depots when you're flying in the other team's spawn. It really changes the dynamic when it's only in your spawn. You guys would probably like it a lot better on the ground. <laughs> well, good games tonight, you guys. Holy cow. Holy cow. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. I had fun. If I had fun, I know you guys had fun. I know Italian Super Beast stopped in. That was pretty kick-ass. It's good to see that guy. Once again, welcome, Italian Super Beast viewers, and thanks for the raid. Check this out. We got a gold-plated stock for our drilling. It's pretty kick-ass. I'm going to slap that motherfucker on there. There we go. And uh, are there any more drilling assignments? I don't think there are. Oh! Oh, yeah, I got a little bit more on that drilling I got to do. I can take care of that. <laughs> All right, let's see who we can raid, you guys. Let's raid somebody. What do you say? Let's see who we got out here. Let's see who we got. Let's see who's playing Battlefield 5. Which? Let's see what they got for Battlefield 5. See what they got for Battlefield 5. Battlefield 5. Battlefield. Let's see what they got. All right. Well, this is the first person who has a uh, camera. <laughs> that's how we're doing it now. First person we see with a camera, that's the first person we raid. That's how this is going. All right, we're going to raid this beautiful Beautifield 5. Beautifield 5. All right. Beautifield 5 it is. We're going to raid Beautifield 5. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, Sams, for playing with us tonight. You guys are freaking fantastic. Amazing as always. Thanks for raid Super Beast. Thanks for raid Super Beast viewers. Thanks to Sam's again. I will see you guys tomorrow. Until then, be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. Get your freaking shot. And we'll be back here tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m. Pacific. Let's go raid Beautifield. See you guys tomorrow. Catch you later. Thanks again, everybody. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T-minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. Okay, we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading.